Hello everyone! Welcome to Storytime. You are here with Miss Elisa at the Pocosin Public Library and I'm glad you are here with me today. Today's Storytime theme is camping. So that's a fun outdoor activity we can always do. Um, maybe not now, it's a little cold, but in springtime and in summer and in fall, it's nice to get outside and do some camping. Uh, just another reminder that we're still doing our winter reading challenge, so make sure you are all signed up on Beanstack. You can either go online on the website or you can download the app and make sure you log all the books that you are reading all month long. Um, and don't forget, you can add the books that we are going to read today to your log. Uh, so our, our reading challenge is still going strong, so make sure you all sign up. All right, so we're gonna get started with our story time today. So first we're going to do our hello song and this one is Hello Friends. And um, this one has sign language. So hello, we're just going to, it's kind of like a salute. So we have our hands at our forehead and we're going to bring them out. So this is hello and then friends is we um, lock our fingers together and just do, uh, move them up and down. So this is friends and then time. So time, I have my watch here today. So if you have a watch, point to your watch. If you have an imaginary watch, point to that as well. And then say, and so you just have your hand out up at your chin or your mouth and you bring it out and then hello. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello, hello. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with our first song. And this one is called Let's Go Hiking. And it's sung to the tune of Frere Jaca. And uh, we have a little bit of an arm movement in this one, but it's really easy. So when I sing, I like to hike fast, we're going to move our arms really fast. Like we're hiking up a really, uh, hiking up a mountain really fast. And then right after that, we're gonna say, I like to hike slow. So we're going to hike really slow. Maybe there are some sleeping bears and we don't want to disturb them so we have to hike past them really slow. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Let's go hiking, let's go hiking along the trail, along the trail. I like to hike fast, I like to hike slow along the trail, along the trail. Yay! We're gonna do that one more time. Okay, you ready to do it again with me? One, two, three. Let's go hiking, let's go hiking along the trail, along the trail. I like to hike fast. I like to hike slow along the trail, along the trail. Yay! All right. So next one, we have a counting rhyme. So this one's called Five Little Kernels. So do you know what kernels make? So you put corn kernels in a pot and you put them over fire and you know what they make? Popcorn! Yeah, so we're gonna make some popcorn. So we are going to start with five kernels. So this one's called Five Little Kernels. So let's get started with five. Let's see what happens. So five little kernels sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one goes pop. Uh-oh, how many kernels are left? Four. Four little kernels sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one goes pop. How many are left? Three, good job. Three little kernels sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one begins to pop. How many are left? Two, two little kernels sizzling in the pot. All 
all of a sudden, one goes pop. How many is left? One, only one left. One little kernel sizzling in the pot. All of a sudden, one goes pop. And how many are left? No more, it's all popcorn. All right, I hope you enjoy eating your popcorn as I read our first book. And this one is called The Not So Great Outdoors by Madeline Plopper. And we want to thank Penguin Random House for giving us permission to read it. Um, so if you want to take note of this, The Not So Great Outdoors is the first book we're going to read. So this book is about a girl who's so used to the city that she's not sure that the outside or the outdoors would be so great. But maybe she's wrong find out. I have no idea why we have to go venture into the great outdoors this summer. Look at all of the things that go on in the city. It's not like there's anything out here. I don't know. I see some animals. Lots of rocks to find. There's no electricity. But you know what there are a lot of? Stars. There are no fountains or sculptures. But do you know what this is? It's this big rush of water. A waterfall. There aren't even any playgrounds. I can't look out my window at the city lights. Look at these beautiful lights up in the sky. And where does anything live? It's not like there are any buildings. And I can't walk through the dog park on my way home from school. Although something smells like wet dog. Uh-oh. What is that? It's a Sasquatch. We should probably go home now. Liam couldn't possibly go another night without his teddy. Bears? More baby bears. Well, I guess I could get by with songbirds instead of street performers. I suppose catching a bus doesn't exactly compare to catching a fish. The construction workers here are pretty good at rerouting traffic. The beaver, the beaver made a dam. Especially since the roads can get a bit bumpy. And the skyline isn't too shabby. I wonder if that new restaurant downtown knows how good this tastes. Ooh, she's eating a marshmallow roasted over a campfire. I don't even mind that I'm missing my favorite show. So maybe it's all right to spend time with the herd, especially when the outdoors can be so great. The end. So she ended up having a great time camping with her family. That was the not so great outdoors. All right, so let's go sing a classic song that we should all know. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, so let's do this one. You ready? One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are And that leads us to our next book. It's called First Star, a barren mole story. 
written and illustrated by Will Hillenbrand, and we want to thank Holiday House Publishing for letting us read this one today. So this one's about finding some stars. So that's a fun part of camping, isn't it? Because there's no electricity, you can just go lay out in the grass and look up at the night sky and you see so many stars. That's one of my favorite parts of camping. Mole gazed up. May we sleep under the sky tonight? Asked Mole. I want to see the stars turn on. We can hike to Camp Tip Top, said Bear. Will we get lost in the dark up there? Wondered Mole. No, said Bear. We'll be together. Okay, let's go, said Mole. Bear rolled. What's he rolling? Sleeping bag. Mole stuffed. They put on their packs. Mole climbed up, 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 and Bear picked yum, yum, yum. Together they clambered. Then they made camp. Will it be getting dark soon? asked Mole. Not for a while, replied Bear. I don't want to get lost in the dark, whimpered Mole. Let's go back home. I'll tell you the story of First Star, said Bear. It will tell you how to find your way. Long ago, First Father Bear, First Mother Bear, and First Baby Bear lived here. They played, they bathed, and they ate lots of berries, just like all bears. But they worried. The night was always very, very dark. They could not see. So, first little bear helped his mother dig up white clay. They shaped it into a ball. The ball was moon. Moon shone brightly. Look, bear, I see a funny face on moon, called Mole. Then, first little bear scattered white stones into the darkness. They became the stars. Bear, look, I see the white stones. I mean the stars, Mole chuckled. After that, first father bear reached up high. He pushed hard, hard, hard on one star. This star will not move, he said. It will always point north. We will never be lost in the dark. He named it First Star. First Father Bear then made a star picture of First Little Bear. First Star became his tail. I see his tail, Mole giggled. You see the stars making a little bear? Dark is not so dark if you know where you are, Bear said, smiling. What's that? marveled Mole. It's flying across the sky. It's your lucky star, said Bear. Now, make a wish. The end. That was First Star, a really cute story about how the moon and the stars came up to be in the night sky. Alrighty, well that was it for story time. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that if you do go camping, you enjoy the great outdoors and you look up at the night sky, look for that first star, also called the North Star, and try to find that little bear constellation. All right, so we're going to sing our goodbye song. So it's just like our hello song, but instead of hello, we're going to say goodbye. So we still have our goodbye friends and it's time to say goodbye. All right, ready? Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Don't forget to log on to Beanstack, sign up for the Winter Reading Challenge if you haven't, and log all your books. Log our two books from today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.